Uh, most bonded cellular systems have a variable bitrate encoder, a single encoder that will adapt to network conditions and adjust the bitrate according to those conditions. Uh, it's just the necessity of doing IP video communications. Avi West added a second encoder, and the second encoder is constant bitrate. It's a high quality encoder. It's like they threw in an ATEM, a Tanberg, or a, a Fujitsu encoder uh, for free inside of the Avi West DMG Pro. So what do we use this second encoder for? The second encoder is used to record a high resolution copy. Uh, the competition records the transmission grade uh, signal, which could be high quality or if you're in a fringe area, it could be low quality or the quality goes up and down. So Avi West is able to give you a high quality recording. So you can broadcast live, get the feed out, a few minutes behind live, the system can automatically push the high resolution copy. So you have a high res copy uh, 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 near live uh, to back up the, uh, the, the live transmission. Then another feature of having a second encoder, a uh, benefit of having a second encoder, gives us the ability to have an ASI output. Uh, no one in the market has an ASI output on the transmitter. So why is that important? With an ASI out, we could send a feed to uh, a satellite truck, a KU truck, a KA truck. We could send this output to, uh, in an ENG or news gathering application, uh, the microwave link uh, in that ENG truck could take an ASI output. Uh, and the second encoder is what's driving the second output.